whenever this face appeared on speech drafts. Cheers. Cheers. Turn over to you, Mr. Prime Minister. The United States' commitment to Japan and Philippines remains ironclad. These were President Joe Biden's strong words after the first ever trilateral summit of the three nations. Filipino President Ferdinand Marcos visited the White House a day after the official visit of Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida. This comes in the backdrop of rising tensions with China and fears of a Chinese invasion or blockade of Taiwan. Both Japan and Philippines are countries with territorial disputes with China in the East China Sea and the South China Sea. Biden also emphasized that when US, Japan and Philippines stand as one, they are able to forge a better future for all. The White House has been very concerned about China's recent actions in the South China Sea. So what could have really prompted this high-level meeting between the three nations? One, of course, was rising tensions between China and Taiwan, and second, due to Philippines-China tensions over the second Thomas Shoal, which is 200 kilometers from a Philippine island. Now, Philippines considers this shoal to be a part of its exclusive economic zone, and this claim has actually been upheld by an international arbitration ruling. Despite this, China considers this shoal to be its sovereign territory. Recently, Chinese Coast Guard ships have been firing water cannons at Philippines boats and security personnel in the area. While this dispute is in the South China Sea, Japan has a territorial dispute with China in Senkuku Islands in the East China Sea. In what was a rare and strong message to China, Biden said that any attack on a Philippine aircraft or vessel or armed forces, for that matter, in the South China Sea, would invoke the Mutual Defense Treaty. Now, according to the 1951 Mutual Defense Treaty between US and Philippines, both sides would help defend each other if either were attacked by a third party. Following the meeting, all three nations issued a joint vision statement saying that the three countries stand together as trusted friends and equal partners with a shared vision of a free and open Indo-Pacific. All three nations named China in the vision document, expressing serious concerns about the PRC's aggressive behavior in South and East China Sea also expressing concerns about the militarization of reclaimed areas and unlawful maritime claims by China. They also affirmed the importance of peace and stability across the Taiwan Strait as an indispensable element of global security. Both US and Japan pledged to support Philippines economically and with military modernization as well. All three nations will have a maritime training program around Japan in 2025. This trilateral summit also sought complete denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula and condemned escalatory threats from North Korea. The three countries also announced the Luzon Corridor for infrastructure investment cooperation to meet the economic needs of Philippines. Japan and US will support Philippine students with cutting-edge semiconductor manufacturing training and will also partner for clean energy cooperation and supply chains. So all in all, this was a historic summit aimed at addressing the Chinese threat by a strong statement of unity and a roadmap for economic and military cooperation in the Indo-Pacific. For more news and updates, all you need to do is follow CNBC TV18 on all of our digital platforms.